Hey everybody, we read uh, When I Grow Up Today in class, and here it is again for you by Al Yankovic. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class, and Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject so special to me was when I grow up, what am I gonna be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. So when Mrs. Crop said, who's ready to share, you can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they go, and I bounced up and down, and then what do you know? Well, Mrs. Crupp picked me, yes, me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy, I thought I could burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. Ahem. Esteemed friends and colleagues and dear Mrs. Crupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy, crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna, surrounded by kumquats and candy pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops, boim, appetit. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies a gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain you see, a world-renowned chef is what I'm gonna be. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Mrs. Crupp said. Who wants to be next, maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold on, hold the phone now, I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Well, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tri tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like, holy moly. I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump, I mean ooze, through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across the high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else maybe I'll be the lath operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine-tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade that's directly beneath the main radial, radial sockets inside cooling systems on an X-14 rockets. And since it, this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps, perhaps just for laughs. I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche, cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes, Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered how else could we make giraffe cheese. Now don't interrupt me. I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown or a movie director or maybe professional pickle inspector. Or big sumo wrestler or hedge fund investor or smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission or else a foot model or friendly mortician. Or waiter or skater or master debater or dinosaur dusting museum curator, or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign wat waver, or part-time assistant, tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Crop said, Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and looked at my shoes. And finally, I said, My great-grandfather Bob spent a whole lot of things. Had a whole bunch of jobs, a butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103, and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly I'm hoping he'll cut, you'll cut me some slack if I leave options open, 
Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all those things. And then the bell rang and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Krupp. The end. Thanks for listening, guys. See you later.